So here we're going to build formatted smart headings such that if we change one of these headings, the rest of them are also going to change as well. So to do that, let's start a new document. And I'm going to create three random sentences. And we'll use this to build our headings. So I'm going to start by formatting these exactly how I like. So I'll change the font, bold these two, underline this one, and I'll make this one small caps. All right, so once I formatted these how I like, what I want to do now is assign these to the style. So I'm going to put the cursor here, right click heading one, update, put the cursor here, right click update heading two, put the cursor here, right click update heading three. Now we've got these styled, so as you can see, you could easily change the style. All right, so that's the first half. The second half is this button right here. We want to select this, define new list style, call it whatever you want, and then go down here and select numbering. Click customize, and this window will pop up. Most likely you're gonna to have to click this button to open up the rest of the options. Now what you wanna do is you wanna link the styles that you just created to the levels. So level one, let's link that to style heading one. Level two, link that to heading two. Level three, link that to heading three. Click OK, you can see that it worked here. And you can see here actually most of our work is done. I'm going to double this so just so you can see how it, uh, that it is in fact working. If we promote, if we demote this one rather, this A will change. So now they work. The next thing we want to do is we want to change these numbers and add a little bit more spacing. So to make uh, modifications, just go back here and now this time select define new multi-list, uh, multi-level list. This is a little bit different um, than if you were doing it on a PC. Click right here, and to change the number style, just simply select the first one, and I'm going to change this to Roman numerals, and I'm going to change this to a period, number two. Let's change this to letters. We'll also put a period after that. Level three, I'm going to change this to numbers, and we'll put a period after that. Hit OK. All right, now it didn't take, and that actually happens sometimes. Let's try that one more time. Number one, and I'll just do the first one. All right, that time it worked. Let me do the rest of them. Oops. And the last one. Let's make this last one. Uh, numbers. Hit a period. Hit OK. All right, so this looks good. The only problem here is it would be nice if we had a little more space. It's a little tight between um, the between the bullets and the rest of the text. So um, let's put a little bit more space. Right now this is a quarter inch. Let's make it a full half inch for all of these. So same thing. Go back up here, and for level, we'll start with level two. Let's push this out to a full half inch. Click OK. Now you can see this jumps forward. Let's do the second one. Or rather the third one. And so the last one was a half inch. This one's going to be a full inch. Hit OK. And then we need to fix this last one right here. Now here we want it aligned, we want it left aligned. So all we need to do is change this to a half inch, hit OK. And now you can see we've got a nice half inch. Um, and all of these, if we promote or demote them, they still work. And that's how we format headings.